Well, I um, woke up one morning after showering and I walked into the hall by the closet. This is the one that um, housed the AC units and vents. It's a, like a utility. Anyway, I, I heard this little rumble like a, a small twiddling through some plastic bags. And the ones that I had, these are the, the bags that I'd kept in, with some nails and there were some staples for lining my telephone and ethernet. And there was a possum and it was still alive and his, his, his nose was twitching he or, he or she or it, it, it was still a baby and it must have fell off through, um, fell down through, through a gap from the ceiling and the ventilation ducts and it was leading to a vent out of the roof. I guess it fell down. He was alone and there was no food, uh, no water, uh, scared I'm sure or perfectly content. <clears throat> and I, I'm, I'm no possum so it was a, a little hard to empathize with its circumstance of being there all alone, no home or mother, some utility closet, just, you know, in a tool bag, or it was like a, a pet bag, I think. It was cold, and <clears throat> I, I called the maintenance guy in our complex, and I <clears throat> I reported it, and I had um, a loose varmint in my household. I empathize with the circumstance of being there by itself, all alone. There was no human or no, I mean, there was no home or mother, and there was some utility closet there, and it was in a pet bag, and it was cold by itself. I called them the maintenance guy in our complex, and I reported it. I had, I had lost a varmint in my household. I mean, I lost, and I, I didn't mean any harm, and my cats were flipping out, and they were trying to claw under the vents. They were pawing at the door and chipping away at the wood, trying to get at it, sniffing, hissing, investigating, prowling, hunting, you know, the loneliness that they do uh, when they... <laughs> they wept on the other side of the door um, looking for this little guy. And the innocence, the young life that was there, the it was, it was just weird. You know, the very next day, the little intruder was gone, supposedly taken away and caged, and maintenance people were, were going to release it into the wild or something like that. And then Kenny... Uh, this maintenance manager guy he told me it, 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 it would uh, it would happen. Well, now this is weird. This is next week, and I get this. The next week, I found this was another possum. <coughs> it was another possum, um, and it was about the same size. <coughs> It was about the same size, same nose, identical in nature, but dead. And I think I'm no possum, but I do believe that they are known to play dead in self-defense. But this one wasn't moving uh, his nose like last time. He smelled dead. Surely it found its way or fell through the same gap and got trapped, just like the other one that was supposedly, um, you know, in the same. I mean, it was he, he came the same through the same way. And I, re, I, you know, this is a uh, part of the part that should have been repaired in the utility closet up, up in the, the part of the uh, where the closet is on the. Anyway, I, I must have fell down, or I mean, it must have fell down searching, maybe smelled its mother or brother or sister or whoever was the first discovered in the cage, and and I guess I, re, I guess it was released into the wild, and I figured the dead possum must have starved to death, no food, no water. And, you know, I mean, that's what happens when you're trapped in a utility closet and shut off in the world behind a closet for too long, at least. To this little guy this moment of life abandoned forgotten or maybe kenny killed it and the initial possum planted it there and never released it to be cruel i, I nah i figured that was i don't know may, maybe not and there's there are th the things i think of now um these things they pick apart like a detective analyzing to keep me away from the image of her to stop me from remembering something to focus on